Hey y'all, I'm Randy, the Mobile Traveler. How you doing tonight? What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you three fire pits. Everybody wants a good fire when they're out boondocking. Okay, what we have here is your basic fire pit. You start the fire here in the center. Now, one thing I did do is I put air flutes on the sides. Everybody knows that oxygen feeds the fire. So when you got the air coming through here and the other side, your fire is going to burn hot. Now, I'm going to take the fire from the center right here and I'm going to move the coals over and we're going to cook our hot dogs. And we're going to have beanies and weenies. Now, we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you a survival fire pit. Follow me, will you, Lisa? Okay. Now, right here, we have a survival fire pit. If you're in the middle of nowhere and you're cold and it's snowing, all you need to do is you build two side walls. One, two. You take your wood, your kindlings, you place your wood like this. You take kindling like this. Get all the kindling you can. You throw it in the center. Start it on fire. And you place your other pieces of wood here. And this fire is going to, it'll burn for hours. And it'll keep you warm. Snow will not bother this fire because the fire is up underneath and it's burning straight up onto the wood. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is right over here. Now this one is called a Dakota style fire. And what I did is I took and dug a hole in the ground. You dig this hole down. You put twigs in the center of it. Now these twigs are going to burn hot. Extremely hot. It's going to burn hot enough and long enough to where you can cook right over the fire. These shavings I got on the side I whittled off of another tree and that is going to add to starting it better. Naturally I can't start nothing. But here we go. We're going to show you how hot this thing can get. Come on now. And oxygen to the fire. There you go. We got fire. You had the sticks in here. And over here, I have another flute. And you dig a hole through to here. And if you look down this hole, it's connecting to the other fire, which I can't do right now because it's hot. And what that does is that allows air to go into the hole, which feeds the flame. If the flame's too hot, you cover the hole. You make it so not as much air goes through it. This fire is great for cooking on, boiling water, cooking up your wild game, frying up your fish or hot dogs like I like and you gotta have a grate for your hot dogs like I got it right there and you're cooking this is Randy the mobile traveler hang loose people